Hi, welcome to the Astro RP9 prototype design video. And today is the day one. I will guide you how to create image carousel for the web page. Okay, so now let's get started. This is the Astro RP version 9 on my PC. Okay, so now here I have a one page is a page one. I will change the name it to the home. I click on this one and enter the home. Okay. And then I will set save it first. I will save it as R01. Okay. Or uh, in the library, I type in, in the search box e dynamic panel. And then in the command, I will drop and drop it to the home body here. Yeah. So now here I can adjust the coordinates and the width and height of the of the dynamic panel here. I will change it to ten and thirty. Okay. The width I will change it to the four eight zero. And the height it will be two four zero. Okay, something like this. Okay, I save it. And after that, I will navigate to the outline tab here. Okay. So by default, we have a dynamic panel here, and now I am going to enter the name for this dynamic panel. Okay, you can enter the name in interaction or even click on this one dynamic panel and enter the name for it I will have a enter the name carousel e uh, home carousel okay and here by default it have one state and now I will click on this one sorry I Click on this one to duplicate state. Yeah. So now here I have five state. That means I'm going to create the carousel for five images. Okay. I will reorder the state here. Okay. And now I will select the state number one. I will in the library, I will type in the image. Okay, I can use this one, the drop and drop it here for using the image. Or even I can delete this one. I can add the image on my PC here. Okay, I will open the image. I'm like a car, so I will add the carousel for car, car zero one. Okay, sorry. So drop and drop it to the body. Yeah. So now here this this one is smaller, so I can press the control and make it and using the mouse to make it smaller for easy adjust the image on my PC. Okay. So here you can press the space on the keyboard. The cursor will be changed it to the uh, hand, and then, then you can drop and drop it here. Okay. Mm. Okay. I select state number two, and drop and drop the image number two. Also bigger. <laughs> it is very big image. Step three. We do the same. T 
Ziffer. State file. Okay, and now here you see the image is seem bigger than the area of the dynamic panel. So now I will back to the home page. Yeah, the page, and I will change the width and height of the dynamic panel. I will change it to No. Back to the outline, the image. Five, six, eight, okay. Okay, something like this. Back to the bed and set it up. Okay. So now here I will select the uh, carousel. Home carousel. Okay. I click on the new interaction. Interaction in the interaction tab here. Okay. I scroll down. In the dynamic panel, I have a load event here. So the load event will be uh, will be executed on the on the bed when the bed is first deployed. Okay, click on this one, and and then I will select the option with this in the widget action E. Set panel state. Okay, and here in the target, I will select the home carousel. Okay, and then state I will select the neck, the neck and previous. So now I will select the neck. Okay, the option is graph from last to first. Okay, that means when you run. To when the carousel run it to the last image, it will back to the first, and it should be a loop. Okay, and we have a more option. It is repeat every every every. Okay, select this one, and you change it to the three thousand millisecond. It means it three second. Okay, click on the okay button here to do the confirmation for such setting okay good so now here in the set panel state you see this is some the journey of the the, 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 the carousel we have home carousel and then next wrap repeat every uh, three seconds and delay first chain okay save it and then on the menu, we have a preview button here. You click on preview button to run it. Yeah. You see if the image is running in slide. Yeah. 
this. And when it goes to the last emit, it went back to the first. Okay, very good. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a image carousel for the prototype. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. If you see any issue, let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you later.